Welcome everyone back to the channel and if you're new here, welcome. In this video, we're going to be creating a tkinter notepad in Python in under 5 minutes. We have no time to waste, so let's get started. We're going to start by importing the tkinter library and then we're going to define a main level function. In this function, we create the root variable and then we create the actual window using the window class. We're going to make the window class later, but let's just get the function set up. Then we call the root main loop function, which actually runs the interface. We call the main function at the bottom of the code, and then we start the window class. We start by defining the init method, which instantiates the actual object, and it takes the root as an input. We define the size of the window with geometry, and then we actually add a title to the interface. We're going to call it tkinter notepad. Now let's create the actual text in the interface. That is using the text widget and the only argument it inputs is the root variable. And we're going to add that on a grid at the zero row and zero column. Next we actually want to create the open and save buttons. Both of them are just going to be buttons. Button takes root and the text on the button is going to be save and the command that runs when the save is clicked is going to be called save file. We can add that to a grid at the zero row and column number one. And to actually create the open button, we're just going to copy and paste the code and change the text around. We're going to change the text to open, the function to open file, and the column to number two. Now let's actually create the save file and the open file. Both of them return none, and in the save file, we're going to start by creating another interface called save GUI, and that's going to be using the tk variable. We're going to define the geometry, and then we're going to create a variable called file contents, which is going to be all the text that you type in the text space. To get that, you just use the get method. We're going to add a label, which actually allows you to input the file name that you want to save as, and that's going to be on the grid at zero column and zero row. The file name is an entry, and that's going to be what you type and what you save the file as. It's going to be using the save GUI as the input, and the width is going to be 40 characters, and that's going to be on a grid at the zero row and the first column. Now let's create a button that actually lets us save the contents of the file. The method is going to be write file, and the grid is going to be at the zero row and the second column. The actual write file method is the meat of the problem here. And that's going to be a method that uses a with open block. We're going to open the file name that we enter in the entry box and then add a .txt extension to it. And then we're just going to write the contents of the file into the file we created. We use the write method and the close method. And there's our save file function. We use the same idea with the open file. We just create another window called tk, called open GUI and we define the geometry as 560 by 50 and then we're just going to paste the code down from the save interface and just change a couple of variables around. Instead of the text being save, we change it to open and the method is actually going to be open new. We create the open new method and it's going to be the same idea using a with open block that's going to be open the file name that we type into the entry. It's going to be in read mode. And then we say delete all the text in the text space and then insert into the text space the contents of the file. After we finish writing the file, we want to close it. And then we actually want to destroy the interface that we created. And let's add that destroy method into the save file method. Next we're going to add all this code in open new into a try and accept block. The reason being is because say we want to open a file that doesn't exist, we don't want the whole program just to shut down. Instead, we want to say if, if there's a file not found error, we delete all the contents from the entry and then insert into the file name entry, file was not found, try again. And there we go, that should be finished. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. We can type some text into the text space, and if we click save, we're going to be able to enter a file name, 
and let's check our directory and you can see the file is saved with the text we just wrote. Now let's change the text around to see if it'll load correctly. We open back the interface and let's just add some text in to make sure it's deleting. We type in the name of the file we want to open and click open. And there we go, it's loading the text correctly. We've created a basic notepad app in tkinter in under 5 minutes. That's going to do it for this video, I hope this was helpful, and if you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching.